Hello and welcome back to the DinoSail Heritage Performance. Today we will talk briefly about fuel consumption and air to fuel ratios and how it affects our engine's performance. We all want as low fuel consumption as possible, but does it come with a downside? Well, the results may surprise some of you. Burning less fuel at a given RPM and load setting, does it affect my engine's output? Of course it does, the physics apply here as well. To make X amount of power, you need X amount of fuel, but there is a fine line on how little fuel you can burn to make a certain amount of power. With today's highly efficient injection engines, we can get really good numbers, but when they run as lean as they do, how does it affect the engine's power output? Let's have a closer look. I will now demonstrate this EP912 STI Gen 2 running on our dynamometer. It will be set at steady state 5000 RPM, just shy of 30 inches of manifold pressure. And keep an eye on the uh, manifold pressure, the air fuel ratio, and the engine horsepower output. stabilized there we have the AFR set at about 13 to 1 5,000 rpms and a fuel flow of about 25 liters per hour you see the fuel flow here rpm engine power and air fuel ratio we're making about 86 87 horsepower with the air fuel ratio set at 13 to 1 now let's bring the air fuel ratio to about 40 to 1. So there we have the air fuel ratio set at about 14 to 1. Doesn't seem like we've lost any power. And the fuel consumption has come down 2 to 3 liters. So well worth leaning out the engine and we're still making the same amount of power. Now let's bring the AFR down to 15 or slightly above to 1, which is where the uh, 915 and 916 IS engines typically run in the Eco setting. And let's see what that does to our engine horsepower output. So obviously we got the fuel consumption down by another 2 liters or so per hour, so 4 to 5 liters less at the same manifold pressure and RPM setting, but we lost 7-8 horsepower, it's quite significant with just the engine performance. So to summarize, we can go leaner to a certain point without losing performance, but to get those really impressive low fuel numbers, we're surely losing out on performance. So what's the take on this? Obviously burning less fuel will allow you to stay airborne for longer, but will you go further? I'll leave that guys, I'll leave that there for you guys to debate. So thanks for watching and see you all in the next one.